I already went ahead and did the back, so I'm going to demonstrate on the front of my hair what I did. I parted my hair in medium sized sections and I spritzed my hair with water. When you do bantu knots on wet hair, you get more shrinkage versus doing it on stretched hair. I applied the product. I used a hair butter and a hair gel. So I'm just going to detangle my hair, making sure that there's no knots and tangles. And the Denman brush is my favorite brush to detangle my hair. Before I go ahead and bantu knot my hair, I'm going to braid at the roots and then twist. And for the twist, I tried to make sure each section was equal. Then I went ahead and bantu knotted my hair. You just want to twist your hair around itself. There are many tutorials here on YouTube on how to bantu knot. And then I secured the ends with a hairpin. I left these in for about a day, one night, and then I took them down. Next day. To take out my bantu knot, I twist it until it loosens up so I can pull it down. Now I'm going to unravel the twist. The way to get big frizzy hair, especially if your hair is long, is to unravel your hair when it's not fully really dry, when there's a little bit of damp left in your hair if you want that afro look. Or you can get that afro look when your hair is fully dry, but it's gonna be more polished. Now is where I unravel each twist strand. Okay, yes to make my hair bigger. You can unravel as much as you want. You can be cute with it or you can go in for that big hair look, but to each his own. After I'm done separating, I like to push back my edges and gel them down. I put on a scarf for a couple minutes so they can stay flat and bam! I also use a afro pick. I know you guys made fun of me when I said this afro pick, afro pick, pick, afro pick, pick. Yeah, to make it much fuller and bigger. There you have it!